Hey everyone, this is Eric and we're going to talk about the if then statement. And if then is a flow control statement that does one thing if one thing is found and another if something else is found. So uh, here is an example on your screen public sub if then. It's kind of a. a <laughs> name so we have if then dim as your text is a string as your text is equal to sue James so we're going to equal this text to that this lady right here and then if the, the uh, James is found in the string as your text then we're going to have a message that says found but if not, we have a not found here, and then the message box says says uh, the message, whatever the message is. So the message is controlled by this if then statement. The result of that message is controlled by that. So it's really controlled by this right here. So here is my if if this is true, if uh, and it's yours is true then and really I mean if it if it says if it's above a zero it's gonna be true so uh, so if 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 there's something there I could have if that is greater than one this is because that returns a returns a numeric value so I could say if it's greater than one but I really don't need to say that because it automatically think it automatically knows what I'm, uh, it returns a result. So if there's something there. It does it does the true thing. So let me press F8. We're gonna step through the code here. Sue James is our text. So if in string, uh, I already figured it out. So James in number five. So yeah, start at one. We're gonna look at the. Uh, Start of this, and and just for uh, just for your information, this is to remember the the arguments of which one goes first, which one goes second. Uh, you may you may have some trouble like later on trying to figure out. Well, should I do I type the text that I need first, and then look in text second, or text to search it first and then what to look for a second well that that gets kind of confusing so I'm have to do it a couple times do it make it easy and figure out do it on easy thing first them them that you know like something like this you know James is there and see if you're use your common sense to, to kind of see if you're doing it right and then go on to bigger and better things uh, implement it uh, in more more areas so uh, we have in string in this string we're searching for this if that's available yes it's found and it and if message box found bang found okay so if I take out the James it's not found so it's gonna result in the opposite so if in the string it's zero, say that it's zero, and so the message is now going to be not found, not found. So the if then statement is if then and if uh, is really a flow control statement. So do one thing if one one scenario is true, do another if it's not true. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you see our alternative on the select case statement, which is a little bit easier to read. It's if you have a uh, if you have a long bit of code that you have to go through. So use the select case statement for that. But for this, uh, I think it's going to work just fine for you. So thanks again, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. Bye.